There's so much shit going on in there. Holy fuck. This is the last echo I gotta do before I can fight Orbis. I'm like right next to that motherfucker. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna fight Orbis. And yeah. I was playing yesterday, bro, and I kept having trouble with my build. And I was like, bro, this sucks, blah, blah, blah. And uh, as you can see, like right now I'm just chilling. And it's like. I think it's because I was playing like super tired and like out of it and blah 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 Because this shit's really good bro <laughs> Like I don't know what I was complaining about bro This shit's easy Maybe it was the monolith I was doing Maybe the enemies were way more annoying I have no idea bro But this is nothing anyway. But yeah I've just been running through these bitches Did like six or something Five or six and Now we're here Oh wait, this is the boss. I just no, realized that. Alright, come here, bitch. I wanna try some shit. So boom, boom. We're gonna go right here and then we get him a couple shots. So I don't get shot on accident. There you go. Easy. It's been like this, like every single thing. I accidentally got hit, but it didn't matter. I wasn't paying attention. And none of that was good, so that's tough. You know, I gotta collect my thingy from the arena key. Great. It's not like I already have a million of those. And we go again. We got Orbis. I'm only gonna get five corruption out of this. I don't know how I'm getting bonus corruption. I guess I went far enough. I don't know. I'm like right here, dude. So I don't know why I'm getting plus one bonus. Maybe it's because of the other one. I I've done one other empowered. I don't know. But we're gonna do this. I'm pretty sure I can just try this over and over again. So if I end up losing or whatever, I can just do it again and again and again. It don't really matter. The quest thingies, though, you I'm pretty sure you lose that. You lose stability, and then you gotta try it again. I think unless it's only for the quest and it's not for the boss. I don't know. Alright, bro. What's up, dog? Pain and, the pain and misery pain and suffering. Look at how fast I kill this man. He hit me, bro. Don't hit me again, please. He dead? I think he's dead right here. Never mind, he moved, bro. He fucking heard me. He's dead right here. Yeah. Bro, if I would have died right here, I accidentally hit the wall. I wasn't looking at my character. I got trapped on the orb. Holy, wait, hold up. I I got so many. Oh wait, it's because uh before you think this is drop raise, bro. I had a prophecy. I just remembered that. So one of these, hopefully, okay. So like this is what I did, right? I had a prophecy for getting a boss kill. So then I went on to the last ruin because there's a unique on here that you could get as Weaver's will, according to fucking Epoch Tools or some shit. And if I get that, it could turn out to be decent if I get lucky. So I'm trying to look for it this isn't it this isn't it this is it <laughs> oh my god 18 weavers will it's not really like hot i got two of them okay so i have two chances they're like basically the same as far as i'm aware this thing could go like literally up to 30 ish like a high 20 so 17 and 18 isn't even that good and this one sadly got less percentage less damage taken so it's whatever bro oh and then we got a ring what did orbis give me two two legendary potential that's pretty good that ring is actually pretty useful i think isn't it? Yeah, this thing could be good. I don't use void or melee, but if I made a melee leech fucking void build, you feel me? Melee void leech build, this would actually be good. This would be probably really good. Might even like best in slot. But yeah, I was going for this, and I think my plan actually worked, bro, because as we saw, he didn't drop, he didn't drop this. He dropped the ring. So my prophecy gave me uniques, and unless I just got lucky on the relic table, and I got two of what I needed out of the four, I want to say it was literally just because I ran that specific mana, so W. Now what? I'm 105 corruption and I just do it again, I guess. And it's 5% harder, which is not really a difference. Alright, well now I'm gonna go until I reach the boss, I guess. Did something drop? Do I even go look at it? Like, honestly? Oh, nothing dropped. They need to fix that, bro. Like, audio cues from something that isn't even in your fucking loot to filter is crazy. But is that green thing mean he's gonna come back to life? I didn't even realize. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. It actually shows you it. Like, I probably noticed it, but I didn't really, like, think about that. There was something on the ground right there, but I ain't even gonna look at it, bro. It's something I could potentially craft on, but a lot of my shit's pretty solid. I don't even care, dude. Arena key of memory is pretty good. Maybe having those, like, as just a reward in general. So the fact that I just got one off the ground is pretty lit. Not happening. Bro, I can't stop, dude. I'm messing with my mouse. Oh my god. Alright, this is pretty easy, bro. If I could sit here doing this with a kitten completely screwing me over, then anybody could do this. Tomes of experience. I remember when that shit used to say, like, a couple thousand. I swear that shit just said 28k each. That's crazy. You really up here now, bro. We got shit to our name. No, stop. You're biting the wire, bro. Quit. 
Not happening. Cliff of Envy. Whatever that is. That guy almost killed me with that. I thought he was like charging up an attack, but that was the attack. Also, this had an egg in it. I empowered it, I think. And then I fought him and he dropped the items that were there. So I don't know if I click challenge. Oh, there's an egg again. But I don't have a thing though. Man, I'm supposed to be bringing uniques with me, man. I'm kind of mad. I'm going to banish him. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't, I don't care about any of that shit. I'm just going to banish him. Easy kid. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom. And then go over here. Boom. And then go right here. Done, bro. More experience. I'm not even looking at the rewards when I do it. Like, if it's a unique, I look at it. Because, like, it's a shiny symbol. Like, it's all orange. Like, I noticed this one. A green one. But I don't remember reading none of it. I used to, like, look at all the damage shit. But I want to say at a certain point, bro, it just doesn't matter anymore, dude. Just don't get hit and make sure you kill shit before they try to hit you. That's about it. <laughs> So right there, I just jumped right into the middle of a room and just got shot by a bunch of fucking people, bro. If I would have been in a way higher corruption or something like that, like right there, bro, I just teleport right in front of him and just let him hit me. This is not how I should be fighting this. Every now and then I run out of mana because I'm supposed to shoot mobs to get my mana back. But look at how much mana I get whenever I shoot shit. And let's run through all of this. We drop that down right there. Do this. It'll instant kill anything that gets near me. I'll keep going. Pop another one of these so I can get some shots near me. Hit that so I can kill all those guys because they're going to get annoyed. See, I just took so much damage. I'm supposed to have good leech on my shit, but I don't think I have good leech right now for whatever reason. Not happening. There was an arrow right there, but I didn't pick it up. Uh oh. I thought that was a boss for a second, bro. Because like whenever I see the circle and then I see like a like a big guy, shit. I just start looking. Alright, I don't know what killed me. Something was putting a circle around me. I don't know what it was, dude. There was a big ass circle, but there wasn't no one around me. So I don't I don't know who killed me right there, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I shouldn't have just rushed in right to the thing like that. That was definitely the problem with what I just did. And then I kind of just didn't shoot my hell of arrows to kill anything. And then even when I did decide to shoot it, I didn't actually stay around it. So a lot of mistakes there, I guess. But still don't know what killed me. On the bright side, I didn't care about the reward. I feel like that's one of my problems. I don't have that much leech, bro. Like I was sitting there trying to just stand with them so they would all stand inside the hell of arrows and i was just getting shredded bro and no cap like my shit wasn't even getting my health back I wasn't getting it back fast enough bro what did i just pick up do i need this nah but it does give me damage leech to this health and i feel like that's a problem that i'm having right now so I can maybe craft on it plus this is exalted but it's exalted with armor now the rest of it's really good but it's not super good i could get better i could probably do it right now it's not like something is gonna walk up and kill me plus if i don't get anything better we just get rid of it elemental res i have elemental res on this i can't change the endurance though so if i had to put this on i'd have to take my armor off and i took my armor off i lose fair amount so i don't really want to do that i'm literally just gonna try to go for fucking i i'm not even looking it rather or not i can but physical res great all right well I, that's a shatter open a chest getting me a single fucking exalt that's crazy i feel like like i should have gotten at least like a couple i'm gonna start like taking my time through this bitch bro because these motherfuckers are annoying <sighs> this is an annoying ass fucking map bro like, who is this bro get away from me where's the boss at dude or where's the spider that skittering gate what does that say what the fuck is a skittering gate <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm gonna end up dying from my game freezing at some point, and when I do, bro, it's gonna it's gonna piss me off. That's a rogue leather mask. I don't even care about checking that. Oh wait, the skittering gate. I thought it said something about a fucking. Can stay around this for a second, you know. Go over here, safety spot. Throw everything over that. Whoops! Don't stand in that. Shoot that right here, lure him back over here, go behind him, go behind him again. There was just so many mobs, bro. Like, that was the thing that was scary about that. It was just so much shit to deal with. I don't even know why I'm picking up flat health increases, because I don't think I care about that, like, whatsoever. You get a percentage increase, and it's just that much better. I'll still save it, I guess, because it's jewelry. This shit's small as fuck, bro. Takes up a single slot. Can I, can I stash these? <laughs> oh, man. All right, we have an empty test. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> another day, another echo. Got a little chest. A little chest of Rooney. I, I just love running fortune, dude. Like, it's so fun. Like, did you hear all of that, all those noises? I don't even know how many of these exalts are good, bro. Like, technically, I don't want to pick anything up that I don't actually need, but... 
just never know, bro. What if I need it for something else? Oh, wait, Wolver. I forgot all about the Weaver shit. Like, I'm running this shit. Endurance. Okay. Is that, is that good? Endurance calculated as damage reduction. Oh, shit. Wait, so I can I can raise my endurance threshold to a really high number and then raise my endurance percentage and I'll just take that much decreased damage? That much reduced damage? Are you serious? Can I really do that? What if I put, like, I could hypothetically run a lot of dodge in my build and then a solid amount of fucking armor and then have on a fuck ton of endurance and it'll make it to where i'll just have basically built-in armor and it'll probably be easier to go for i don't even know dude i don't even know dude. Oh, close. another exhausted another exhausted and it's fucking terrible i think like melee fire damage bro is that even good should i just throw out everything i get that's tier six and only keep tier seven since i'm circle of fortune and i'll just get a ton of them anyways and plus i'm not running any of them because like they're not even for my build like if it's for my build that i could keep it like if it's something i could potentially use then keep it but like this dude who cares about increased minion health like it's a ring so i'll pick it up but if that was on any other item that took up space like why even pick it up like this bro 96 mana it's a tier 6 drop why even pick that up my shit has 76 mana okay never mind it's like way less but i don't even need mana bro i look plus 13 intelligence like bro i don't even need this it's a max roll tier 6 but i don't need this and you need to get level 66 just to use it it's like fuck him dude like you really know how i feel bro this is how i feel bro shatter this is how i feel bro bow lightning damage like do i even need that bro it's not even a max roll like you see what i have on bro bow physical damage 48 that's almost a max roll 104 percent increased bow damage that's almost a max roll i don't need these random fucking items dude like what bow attack increased speed whatever the fuck what, are they? what roll is this the lowest roll you could possibly get in a tier 7 like dude come on bro like do i really no dude i don't need that we'll get way better shit look at this another tier 7 see what i mean bro we'll just get better shit like we have tier 7s look not a tier 7 we don't care what is this tier 7 no it's not a tier 7 who cares this is a tier 6 don't care all that shattered bro exalts we don't care what is this dodge rating if you've been hit recently health gain when you dodge increase cold damage whenever i see shit like this it makes me want to swap my shit over just to use it like what if i did a cold build and i increased my cold damage by like using these boots and then on top of that i added even more cold damage like what if that's the problem what if running physical damage isn't the most optimal thing what if i gotta swap to like a different element of build and i can actually get slightly more dps like that'd be crazy as far as everything else i don't care next time bro i'm gonna try to have a unique on me I don't have one at all, do I? Yeah, I don't have a unique on me. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna banish him. I'm gonna come back with a unique. Seal the Ash Gate. What's up, Mr. Ash Gate? Alright, so we put that right there, and then we just stay in here, bro. GG's. You don't even gotta play the fucking game. I let that guy get by on accident, bro. That's my fault. I don't even gotta play the game. You just sit here. Got some dudes trying to show up and shit. Like, bro, what are you doing? Back up. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Where are they popping up from, bro? All right, there we go. Uh, that was fucking chaotic. It wasn't that chaotic, but it felt like it. And then what is this? Do we care about this? 40% increased melee attack speed. Like, that sounds cool, but like, do I really care about this, bro? What, what, what role is it? Six? It's a maxed out tier six, but it's fuck em, bro. It's a one-handed mace. I'm allowed to use it because it's a one-handed, right? But since it's a one-handed mace, do I, do I have to put that on another one-handed mace or can I just put it on another one-handed weapon? I could probably scale my damage so much more than I'm scaling it right now, but I'm not even and like i don't i'm not that knowledgeable yet i need more play time bro either that i need to like watch a bunch of videos and guides and shit but i don't follow build guides and then i'd be watching videos but i don't know like it's it's different like i don't be sitting there like literally studying shit like i really just be watching youtube to see what it looks like when other people be playing the game and shit like how cool do other people's builds look how far do other people get yada yada Look at the difference when I don't use the fucking blue shit, bro. Like, I kept that shit there for a minute, and that dude still just walked straight through it. But whenever I, like, walk over here, and then I pick this up, and then I go, give me another one, give me another one, give me another guy. Yeah, there you go, watch this. Shred his ass, bro. Fucking instant kill, damn near. Every single bow I get, I don't even need to pick up. I really need to, like, change my filter around, bro, because getting all these drops appearing is very bad. What's up, bro? I'm here to fucking kill you, dog. No questions asked. It's actually crazy. I feel like I die more often to like random mobs and shit than I do to like big bosses. Cause like, I feel like I take a lot of damage regardless. Like it doesn't necessarily matter what happens. So when like random mobs hit me repeatedly, they just 
completely fucked me up. Wait, how many of these do I have? Health and stun avoidance. You're telling me that I'm sitting here running shit like this, plus 42 health, when there's literally an affix that has health and stun avoidance. So, not only is this unoptimal because it's not percentage health and regular health barely fucking does anything in the first place, but there's also another affix with health that does more. Like, are you fucking serious, bro? Give me that shit. You're serious. Zero. Give me it, please. It's gonna give me it, right? Okay, it gave me at least one. This is a super easy build to push corruption, bro. Like, sometimes I'll be playing and I'm just like, I don't get it, bro. Like, people... Oh, I was supposed to... Bro, I keep fucking forgetting to grab this shit. Because, like, I'll remember, but then... Like, look, it, it's constantly trying to give me it, too. Oh, my God. Banish it again, bro. Alright, so hit that bitch and then come over here and just stay in this general corner for a second, you feel me? We gotta kill these guys, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna come back over here, hit this buddy. Get these guys out so it respawns them. And then just continue to just sit right here, bro. Don't gotta do anything. Literally all of them are just gonna spawn and die and run towards me and die and blah blah blah. Oh, there you go. All right, then we gotta grab this. Oh, Glyph of Despair. I don't even know what that is, dude. Like, that's how bad I am at this game. Got a little jewel crystal thingy right here. This is gonna be the furthest I've ever gotten in a monolith, because I've never actually empowered one twice, or gotten the corruption up like twice. I've only ever fought an Orbis and killed him like one time, I think. I might Actually, I might've done that once before. Okay, I accidentally got it. Okay, no, 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 I was not in that second ring. I was, the first ring, I was like, okay, I'll accept that. I was sort of in it. That second ring was bullshit. Oh, look at this. This actually might be an upgrade. Stop, I can't fucking move. Like, why are random mobs allowed to stun you, dude? That one random mob in the back hit me once, and he attacked slow as fuck, and he hit me, and he fucking stunned me. Like, are you serious, dude? I think it's wraps right now, because it has a tier one, a tier one, a tier one, and a tier one. I think it's guaranteed to just have those four. I don't know. We'll see. But I could potentially get this and uh, put this on, because if I can replace the healing effectiveness, which we can... Please, bro. This could actually be pretty good, because I actually want to try endurance. Like, endurance could be good, and this gives me an extra... A fat at fucking endurance threshold not gonna cap oh yeah and we already got a tier five on that too what's the tier five 12 percent do you think i reroll this and try to get a higher roll we're gonna um change this mana please don't screw me over dude damage while channeling lightning damage mini damage <laughs> what does this give me this gives me increased physical damage increased damage over time what rolls were those uh they're really low they're really bad i think i'd just go with the endurance the endurance would make it so much easier to survive i think unless it doesn't really work like that or unless i have to get more endurance i don't really have a lot of endurance right now i was really gonna go with armor and then reduce bonus taken from the critical strikes on top of that so i guess my relic's gonna be like my survivability item this shit's gonna have damage leech this health and then it's gonna have the endurance on it and if i can get better items and i can blah, blah, blah. And yeah this isn't even that good i could get more damage if i get one that doesn't have increased minion damage but yeah holy shit dude now we running through this shit right like putting on that one thing bro just made me so much more powerful right Okay, I almost just instant died. <laughs> Not that much more powerful, dude. Holy fuck. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Do I fight this? I think I fight this because I'm not a bitch. Yeah, I fight this because I'm not a bitch. Let it sit here for a second, then open this shit. He's about to do something. Yeah, there you go. That was some 200 IQ shit, bro. Went away so he couldn't fucking hit me. All right, he just fucking juked my shit out by doing that. All right, he has aimbot when he does that. And he just fucking instant killed me with that. I thought I had leech. I'm like not leeching at all. What did this do, bro? Where is it? Increased damage leeched his health. That's cap as fuck, bro. My damage did not leech that much at all, bro. What? I was sitting there just shooting him, having arrows on shit, and it's like, he hopped off, bro. It's like I wasn't even leeching anymore, bro. It's like it instantly turned off. I thought I was supposed to have like extra health like in my pool to where I could stop leeching for like a second and then get back to leeching and it'll just be chill. Apparently it does not work like that. Alright, dude, I, I, 
<laughs> shit like that doesn't make sense. How did I fucking die right there? I, like, okay, this item's trash. Leech doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, what the fuck? This item is not doing anything for me. I'm dying easier with this item on than with this item on. And this doesn't even do anything for me in the first place, bro. This does. Like, what? And I'm gonna do this echo, bro. I don't care. The ways that I'm dying are stupid, bro. I'm just letting that shit happen. Like, I just walked up to him and they killed me. I, di I didn't think they would kill me that fast, dude. So, like, sometimes they just don't do that much damage, bro. And then sometimes they do a bunch of damage. And I just don't get it, bro. Like, that bear just hit me for, like, nothing. But then he hit me for, like, a lot. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but he hit me for, like, double. This could potentially be, like, decent if I was actually running, like, whatever the fuck. But, yeah, get that shit out of here. Another temporal sanctum key. I love that. And also this. I love this. Like, I'll pick this up regardless because that's a good affix. Holy. Okay, I see my problem, bro. I need to just stop running in. I don't even be checking shit, bro. I literally just running that's the reason why i be dying oh my god dude what the fuck what is is that ice i like i have so much fucking resistance why is he killing me bro yeah these bats dude these bats are dangerous as fuck i, I think the bat is the most dangerous fucking character in this whole fucking echo right now that motherfucker is shredding me them things are dangerous i don't get why they do so much damage like they attack instantly and then they do a ton of damage in an area that's whatever. Dude, like, they don't even fucking take damage. Holy shit. I used Puncture to kill all of those other mobs, bro. I go to those bats. I shot that motherfucker, like, two or three times. I didn't even do half of his HP. Are you serious? Get the fuck away from me. These bats, bro. Nerf these fucking bats. They're not bosses, bro. Why is a fucking regular mob shredding my shit like it's a boss? Everything else does, like, normal damage, bro. Like, literally everything. All right, so this is where we do this. And then we go over here. And then we don't hit him with that because I missed. And we stand right here and everyone thinks. You should just die. There you go. Then we go right here. We go right here. Shoot that. Everything that spawns in will just die. There you go. It's just spawning me a bunch of worms, dude. How lucky am I? It's gonna hit a bunch of just these. You feel me? Get a bunch of shit going. Boom. Oh, nice. The whole echo's gone because he instant died. Increased armor by 77%. Tier 7. We take that. It's on a shield, so it's like it doesn't necessarily matter for me, but like we take that. Cold damage. We don't even care. Like, see, we're being picky and it's making it a little faster. Alright, just don't let me fucking jump or nothing, that's cool. Holy shit, bro. There's just so much shit going on. Oh, I didn't mean to reshoot that. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> not happening. I just dodged all that. I'm cool. What will happen? Dang him right now. It's just like that, bro. I'm the best. And of course, nothing dropped either. Why would anything fucking drop? Nothing ever drops. I'm at 105 corruption right now. And it's like easy. Oh, I just saw Orvis and I'm not even going the right way, dude. Fuck. Once again, I fucking forgot to bring a unique with me, dude. I keep forgetting to grab a unique. It's been like the fourth time I forgot. Wait, I didn't bring one, right? Yeah. I don't even got one that I got recently, bro. You don't get loot for shit doing a corruption. Actually, mm. I feel like I get loot doing dungeons. Oh, these look cool. What the fuck? This looks cool. Oh, it's a two-handed sword. I don't know if it's good, and I'm just gonna banish it. Because I don't got a unique, and I don't care about that shit, bro. It's not for me. All right, I just stood right inside that fire, didn't die from it, so that's cool. Dude, he does like no damage, bro. This guy is fucking nothing to me. I need to kill you, bro. Easy, easy kill, bro. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill him. Easy kill, bro. Three, two, one, we dead. I felt like, like an actual boss. Yep, I get nothing from the crystal, and then I get this, which I don't need. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was a lot of stuff. And I don't need any of it. GG's, bro. Gain one gain of Orbis when you defeat the boss in the quest. Oh, shit. So I've, like, I've, I fought this boss once, I think, unless I didn't, because I have zero gaze of Orbis. But there was some boss that I fought. I wonder if I have gaze of Orbis in that one, and I wonder if I can raise my corruption in that one easier. Because apparently I'm supposed to fight this fucking campaign boss, like, multiple times, and then 
and like each time I kill the campaign boss my gaze of Orbis goes up and then I fight the gaze of Orbis and I guess it gives me more corruption that way. Also I only get four corruption if I do this shit again. How the fuck do people get so much corruption? Alright well I guess I'm gonna try to do this and I'm gonna try to fight the Harbinger too dude. Fuck it. It gives you an option. I'm just gonna do it. Let's see if the Harbinger can kill me. 